Hey, what's up everybody? So I wanted to show you my peppermint shrimp larval grow out tank here. Uh, this was requested by Scott. Uh, basically, he just wanted me to show, you know, my whole setup. And, uh, you know, that's a pretty good idea. I just kind of show clips of them eating and I haven't showed my full setup yet. So let's go through it right now. So I do have a small sponge filter. This one's for, uh, I think it's like up to 10 gallons, it says on the box. And I've got that hooked up to a small Tetra air pump. It's uh, it's not the smallest one, but it's like one size up. I think this is for up to like 40 gallons. Have that hooked into a uh, check valve. So if the power ever goes out, then uh, the water won't flow back into the air pump. Then I've got it hooked up to an adjustable air valve. And I don't know if you can see it, but I've got that thing. I've got it cranked all the way down so it doesn't let as much air in. And so as you can see, there's not much air, you know, going through there. If I can open this thing up, I'll do it right now. Oops. So if I open it up, there's a lot more air coming through. And what I've noticed is if I have it going full blast like it is now, then it just pushes these things, the uh, peppermint shrimp larvae around like you see right there. So I just close it all the way until it's just a little bit of air coming out and it works just fine I mean they've got plenty of you know bacteria in there and you know all that stuff so I've actually got some live rock that I pulled uh, from one of my tanks I've got two pieces there's a, another piece under that chato and then I've got uh, just a few pieces of some uh, new rock so I can start up some other tanks uh, but yeah that's the sponge filter there and it doesn't suck up the uh, the live peppermint shrimp but it does suck up oops let me see if I can zoom in here but it will suck up like uh, the the baby barn shrimp the uh, cysts that make it through there that don't uh, hatch and uh, that I don't clean very well um, so yeah that will stick to it but the live peppermint shrimp they're not gonna stick to it because it's not enough pressure to suck them to it the light I'm using is this little clamp-on uh, light here. You can adjust it. It's got a little switch. It's actually got a... So this is the high mode, low mode, and then off. So I leave it on the high mode. You can actually change it to a few different colors as well. Or I guess a couple different colors. No, I think a few. But uh, I'll leave it on that one right there. Um, and the only reason you know I have that small light on is... When I feed, I'll feed in this corner right here, and then all the brine shrimp will be attracted to the light, and then the peppermint shrimp, they'll go towards you know the light as well. So, and this tank here is just, I don't even know the dimensions, but it's just, a, it's one I made out of a quarter inch acrylic. I used a uh, table saw with, uh, the blade has like, a, I think it was like 80 or 120 teeth, it's real fine. Um, and then I sanded off the edges so I could uh, weld them together or you know use that uh, weld on 16 and uh, the other weld on one of them's real thick and one of them's real thin I used the thin one at first then I had a few leaks and so I just went around all the edges and the bottom and used the uh, thicker weld on to make sure it wouldn't leak um, so yeah that's the tank there um, I put chato in there just because I've got chato in uh, my frag tank and just in case it died there, I wanted to have a little backup source. But also this kind of acts as, you know, to take out some of the phosphates and nitrates in this tank. Because in this tank, I do a water change every day. Um, I fed pretty heavily last night, uh, as you may have seen on the video. Or I'm not sure if I released that video yet. It may be coming up. But I fed pretty heavily. You can see it's kind of, it's kind of cloudy. Um, but yeah, I've got a lot of stuff on the bottom I need to... Uh, do a water change today um, in the back here here is a heater now this is one that you can't really adjust it's just kind of a set and forget type of deal um, it's got a I guess an internal thermostat in there um, but yeah that's pretty much it and for my water changes I've just got this uh, airline hose here rigid airline tubing I just put this down in there and you know make a siphon on the other end into a little bucket let me get this out of the way put it into my little bucket there 
um, to take out all the water and then before I discard that water you know there's always some peppermint shrimp larvae that get in there so I, I put them back in the tank and then I just uh, use my mixing bin here full of my salt water and uh, I just use one of these little cups here I've got a couple smaller cups inside there these are like I don't know what are they yeah, one quart and I just scoop it from here right back into there also let me show you my brine shrimp hatcheries so I just kind of DIY these I use a uh, Sencha water bottles got these little caps off of either Amazon or eBay I think it was Amazon and I've got uh, one side so I can drain it and the other side is hooked up to the air pump which goes all the way back up here so I don't have to use a uh, check valve because I ran out already and the same thing for this side it's got another pump and yeah and I do so I'll start this one and then I'll wait 24 hours and I'll start this one and then the next day these will be ready to feed and then you know I'll feed all those and then I'll start it back up and then I'll start you know feed this one and it just goes back and forth and so forth and some of the extra brine shrimp that I have you know are kind of right here may not be able to see them yeah you can kind of see them but uh, these are my extra brine shrimp left over from last night so I'll go ahead and feed these later on today just to give them some more some more food because oops it's dark um, there's still quite a few brine shrimp in there but they could definitely get another feeding and you know one thing about these is man they really love to eat a lot so you got to feed them quite a bit so yeah I want to thank uh, Scott for sending me that uh, comment on my last video and uh, this is the tour of my peppermint shrimp larvae tank thank you guys for watching